Okay, I have the four strands hanging from the keyring um, with the good side of those strands facing me. In other words, I have the top grain facing me there curled over like that. To start this braid, what I do is cross the top two first, like that and hold on to them only. They sit loose from the ring at this point, but I've crossed those two first. Now I go and get one from the back and put it over this top one, and only over one strand is what I put it over there. Only one strand. Then I hold on to these two, go between these two, go get that one, and curl it over that strand there, I will do that again. Two laces hanging over, giving me four strands hanging down. I cross the top two, right over left, hold with my right hand that crossing. Then I go with my left hand, go and get one of those two at the back, cross it over, only the middle one so that I have two running parallel to the right. Then I go between those two and go and get the one at the back, curl it around this one, and there's the start of my braid. And I will do now the rest of the braid, which simply means the top one goes around between those two and curls over one to form the knot there. What's important is to see what my hands do, and I'll show you that. This is the furthest one back, so that is the next lace to go and that will have to move. So with this left hand, I hold the middle two. I go through the two on the right, go and get that one. It curls all the way around the back, under my thumb, and it crosses over only one there under my thumb and I can pull them snug. Now it's this guy that has to work so I drop it completely, hold on to the middle two with my right forefinger and thumb. With this hand I go between those two, get that lace at the back, curl it around and it crosses over only one strand here so that I always have these parallel to each other. So here again, I hold it with my left hand now, go and get that one in between, and go and curl it over to the left hand side. And that's how I'll proceed, changing hands each time. The right hand holds the knot in the middle, while I go with the left hand to go and get that strand on the right, Curl it around the back and bring it forward and pull it snug. Take it slow at the start. You can always speed up later once your hands are comfortable with that procedure. But that is the basic four strand that you do. You never let go of these strands. Um, I will show in future videos how to resume a braid like this if you happen to drop things. I will also show you how to work with a core and I will show you how to braid with two colors starting differently so that you have two different patterns that happens with the two colors.